My name is Judith LeBlanc. I'm an enrolled member of the Caddo Tribe of Oklahoma, and I'm the director of the Native Organizers Alliance. Race and gender. Race and tribal sovereignty. We're made to feel as though we're insignificant, we're disappearing, we're, we're not an, an important voice. I think the struggle for our culture, our language, and being recognized as an important part of the fabric of the U.S. is critical to our identity. Indian people didn't have the right to vote in the United States, you know, into the early 70s. I mean, states resisted giving Indians the right to vote. The 2016 elections, there's a huge issue of voter access, voter suppression. American Indians face incredible obstacles to being able to vote. You have to drive sometimes 200 miles round trip in order to vote or even get registered to vote. It is so incredibly important that Indian country gets organized and is a part of the larger tables who are working on issues of concern for the whole country. If families decide they want to live in a city, they should be able to get health care, housing, and education as though they were living on an Indian reservation, to be guaranteed it. Now, I'm not able to speak my tribe's language. My mom was the last generation of people who did, but barely. My mom's generation was the boarding school generation. The connection to language, to the land, is critical in our identity. The further away you are from your language, the harder it is to maintain cultural traditions. The sovereignty that is inherently a part of every American Indian's outlook, whether you live in a city or on a reservation, has to be recognized. It's the only way forward. You know, many different tribes have very strong matriarchal societies, and traditionally women have played um, kind of a central role in the development of culture and traditions in a number of different tribes. But what we find, even in the 21st century, American Indian women face incredible levels of violence, domestic violence, violence on the streets. There are many, many missing women that the police departments uh, in, in, in North America don't even bother to search for many unsolved murders. And a majority, a majority of the violence that Ind Indian women and Native women face is, is from non-Native men. When you look at who's leading the social movements among Native peoples, Women are playing a big role. On, on one level, yes, systemic racism has a huge impact on our lives. But on the other level, we're reacting, we're responding, and we're playing a big role in developing the solutions to the problems that, our, that Indian country faces.